video or it's a bathtub training and I'm going to show you how to set it up. Okay guys, so I'm going to give you a quick overview of what I set up here and then we're going to get little Bambi in the cage. She's really confused right now, so I'm going to try and make this quick so I can get her in here. But I just set up some of her normal toys and put a wheel in there and some food. And I really do recommend doing this in a bathtub if, if you can. I just did it with the shower today. And so we're gonna get her in here. Okay, so I just set, got Bambi in here. She's chewing quite a bit, which is not really a good sign. So this might have to be quick. I didn't realize she was gonna chew so much on this, but I'm gonna hopefully distract her. You really can't see her with the weight, but that's okay. Okay guys, so when we're, set, when we're doing this, you wanna make sure your hamster has places to hide in so if they get afraid they have a safe place to go to and don't expect your hamster to love you right away it's going to take some time bambi doesn't even like this right now and she's trained so this might not be the best way to go with your hamster but it's it's worth a shot Come here. Oh yeah, see, sometimes they don't like it and they get stressed out and then you might have to just put them back in their cage. But when you're sitting in here, let your hamster go on your, crawl around you, let them sniff you, give them your hand, they might bite. And in my last video, I was showing you how to get your hamster out of your cage and start handling them. I, I told you guys that gloves would be a good way to start picking up your hamster if they're biters. And you can start feeding them treats getting them used to you and petting them giving your hand to your hamster and see if they want to come near you and I recommend doing this wet at night or like later in the day so your hamster is more active and wants to play with you sometimes your hamster will just hide the whole entire time 